All right, so I think this is something that a lot of people, especially global players, have been anxiously waiting for uh, over the past couple of months, basically since they had that Twitter election where we got to choose the next global first LR Extremes Awakening. And the two options were LR Beerus and Whis, and LR Super Saiyan God Goku, and obviously LR Godku 1. And a few hours ago, Global got a new data download, which gave us officially the Extreme Z Awakening details for LR Godku, which is going to be dropping on Global in, I believe, roughly 24 hours from now. So yeah, in this video, we are going to be doing a full breakdown and uh, review of LR Godku's Extreme Z Awakening. I'll give you guys my first impressions, my first opinions, which obviously could change in the future. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it, and uh, we'll start here with the free Extreme Z Awakening details first for comparison purposes, right? So without the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans Category Key plus 4, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 130%, his passive Attack plus 77%, E plus 1 up to 5, and Defense plus 11% up to 55%, Per Pure Saiyans or Hybrid Saiyans, Category Ally, self-excluded on the team. And then high chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, and performing a critical hit for 7 turns from start of turn. So it was a 50% chance of uh, dodging and 50% chance of uh, doing a critical hit for 7 turns, right? So that was the passive. And uh, 12k super greatly raises attack and defense for 1 turn and causes colossal damage. An 18 key super greatly raises attack and defense for 3 turns, causes mega colossal damage, and greatly lowers defense. So that was the uh, Godku without an Extreme Z Awakening. And overall, I think his leader skill was still pretty good. I mean, that's still a very usable leader skill. And uh, his passive, I mean, yeah, he had like very little defense. So defensively, if you didn't get the dodge, you could definitely get you in some trouble if you take some uh, especially supers but even some normals from harder enemies this guy couldn't really tank them so uh, obviously the main thing that a lot of us were looking for with the extreme Z awakening was more defense right so let's see if they address that issue with this EZA so with the extreme Z awakening now leader skill becomes pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans uh, category key plus four HP, attack, and defense plus 150%. So from 130 to 150, um, pretty awesome leader skill considering how big these categories are, right? Pure Saiyans and Hybrid Saiyans are two of the biggest categories in the entire game, especially Pure Saiyans, which I think is still the biggest category. So to be able to run both categories under his leader skill is uh, amazing. And 150% is quite good it's not nothing right I mean of course these days we're used to like 170 to 200 but 150 is still I would say sufficient um, especially with um, you know units from these two categories which are some of the best units in the game right so a uh, good leader skill passive now E plus 2 attack and defense plus 100% instead of uh, just attack plus 70% or sorry 77% and then plus an additional attack plus 50% when performing a super attack. Uh, my mistake, ultra super attack. Attack plus 50% when performing an ultra super attack. Plus an additional key plus 1 up to key plus 5. And attack and defense plus 55% up to... No, attack and defense plus 11% up to 55%. Per pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans category ally self-excluded on the team. So that part is actually... Uh, almost identical we just get the additional attack right so before it was E plus 1 up to 5 and defense plus 11% up to 55% uh, for pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans now it's attack and defense plus 11% so you get that additional 55% attack for having pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans on your team and then plus an additional key plus 3 and defense plus 50% and high chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks and performing a critical hit for 10 turns from start of turn. So they increased 
the turn limit for this portion of the passive from 10, uh, from seven turns to 10 turns, so three extra turns, and then medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, starting from the 11th turn. So even after turn 10, he'll still have that 30% chance to dodge instead of the 50%, so um, at least he has some chance, right? Although, you know, in a lot of events these days, in the later stages for like long events, the enemies will start to nullify dodge, right? Um, of course, they're thinking about the units like, or sorry, enemies like uh, the UI Goku or um, uh, Super Saiyan 4, full power Goku, and so on and so forth. So uh, that might not be the most useful in certain events, but uh, I like the fact that, yeah, he does still have somewhat of a dodge chance after the 10th turn. But uh, as a whole, as a whole, I gotta say, I was expecting more. I was expecting more. I mean, he does get more defense, of course, before the Extremes Awakening. He got very little defense. Now he gets quite a bit more defense. But it still doesn't feel like it's enough defense. You know what I mean? Like, of course, he has the high chance to dodge, which if that activates, then you're good to go. But... I mean, it's still 50%, right? So it's half the time he'll dodge, half the time he doesn't. And that's just not a risk that I'm willing to take in uh, Red Zone or uh, Cell Max event and so on and so forth, where like, you know, if you don't dodge and he takes a super, he's probably still gonna die, right? I don't think his defense is gonna be that high, even when fully built up. I could be wrong. This is just my first impression, uh, seeing this on paper. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like they could have given him more defense. And just overall, I feel like they could have given him just more on his passive, right? Uh, it just feels a little underwhelming right now. Like, my first impression, once again, this could change in the future, depending on his performance in-game, once I get him Extremes Awaken and all that stuff. Uh, I could feel differently, but right now, I think... It's a uh, okay, but not great Extremes Awakening. And uh, given the fact that it's a very exciting character, it's a, it's a, you know, global first Extremes Awakening. It's one that people have been waiting or looking forward to and waiting for for quite some time, right? Like they built up a lot of hype releasing him several months after we did that election on Twitter. So... You know, people were rightfully so very, very hyped for this Extreme Z Awakening, and I think the outcome was a little disappointing. That that's how I feel about it right now. I don't think he's gonna be horrible by any means. I think he's gonna perform okay. I think you know he's gonna do some good damage uh, for sure, and uh, you know um, his defense will be much improved but probably not enough, you know? It, it, it should have been even further improved, is how I feel right now. So, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, I'm not sure if you can see the disappointment on my face, but definitely not the most impressed by what I see right now. But uh, who knows, maybe he'll perform better than I'm expecting at the moment. It's just, uh, I thought there'd be more. I, I thought there'd be more. Um, they did also change the uh, super attack slightly, so the 12 key now greatly raises attack and defense for the attack and defense for one turn. It causes colossal damage and greatly lowers attack. And then the 18 key greatly uh, raises attack and defense for five turns instead of three turns, causes mega colossal damage and uh, greatly lowers defense. Now I do think that this two extra turns of stacking for the uh, 18 key will make a pretty significant difference. So, yeah, guys, like, I'm not going to say it's, it's a bad Extreme Z Awakening. I don't think it is. I think there are a lot of positive improvements here. Um, maybe my expectations were just set a little bit too high because it's God Coup, because it's Global First, because, you know, I was really hyped for it. So I, I, was, I was thinking it was going to be, like, more broken. But uh, it's just, like, an okay LR Extreme Z Awakening, in my opinion, right now. So... Uh, yeah, that's that's how I feel about it guys. That's all I gotta say right now Let me know in the comments how you guys 
are, are feeling about the CZA? Uh, do you share the same, you know, sentiment, the same feelings that I'm feeling right now? Or do you feel something different? Um, I said feel and feelings a lot in that last uh, sentence. But uh, the point is, the point is, I thought there'd be more. I thought there'd be more. So, yeah, hopefully he's better than I currently think he is. Hopefully, uh, you know, I'm just completely off base here. I'm completely, you know, wrong here, but I don't think I will be. I don't think I will be. Anyways, uh, that's going to be the video, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.